Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this video, I'll be discussing Stripe test cards. If you're a new Stripe user, you may not understand what these cards are used for, and in this video, I hope to clear up any confusion you may have. So you've set up Stripe on your e-commerce website, potentially using our very own Stripe Payments plugin. You believe you've completed the setup correctly, but you're wanting to complete a test transaction prior to going live to sell products or services to your customers. The good news is that Stripe test cards allow you to play out transactions that replicate the real deal. You can even choose what type of test card you'd like to use. For example, a Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Diners Club or Union Pay. You can use specific test cards to test for specific errors, responses and disputes. All the types of test cards are currently available on the Stripe.com website. When you complete a test transaction in Stripe test mode, it has no effect on your live mode account. Stripe test and live mode are two separate operations. To get started, you'll need to ensure you're running only test transactions within the settings menu of the Stripe plugin you're using. For instance, we're using the Stripe Payments plugin for WordPress, so in the settings menu, we'll need to ensure the live mode checkbox is unmarked. Make sure you double check what mode your Stripe e-commerce software is running. Once that's completed and you've entered your test API keys from your Stripe account into the settings menu of the plugin you're using, you're ready to complete a test transaction. You'll need to open up a product you have for sale in a different browser than the one you're logged into as admin. A basic Visa test transaction uses 42 repeater as the card number. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'll open up a test product and I'll run through a test transaction with you. I've landed on my product where I'll be completing my Stripe test using the Stripe test credit cards. So I've gone ahead and I've filled out my variations. I don't have a coupon code, so now I'll click on the Stripe Buy Now button. Once I've clicked on that, the Stripe pop-up appears where I can see I'll be paying $17.50 on my Stripe test card. So this won't actually charge anything for my Stripe account or anything like that. It's just for test purposes. And I can see this from the test mode highlighted in the corner here. So you just need to enter in a dummy email address. Um, you can just enter in a dummy street address and that too. And then when it gets to the credit card information section, we'll need to choose which test credit card we'd like to use. So I'll go ahead and I'll fill out these details quickly. Then I'll click on payment information. It's here that I'll need to enter in the dummy test card. Um, so I'll first show you how to do the Visa one. So as I mentioned earlier, it's 42 repeater for the card number. The expiry needs to be a month and year in the future. So because I'm in March 2019, I'll just put in March 2020. And then the CVC can just be any three numbers, but I always use one, two, three, as that's easier to remember. So if I was to click pay, that would process that payment just on the test credit card. I'll quickly show you how you can use a MasterCard instead. So I'll just backspace all of this. And to use the MasterCard, it's 12 fives and four fours. So I'll put that in for you so you can see that. And you can see how that little symbol there has changed now to the MasterCard. So I could either do a MasterCard or a Visa, or I could go back to that stripe.com page that lists all the other test cards that I could use and I could use one of those card numbers. For this example, I'll just be using the Visa card. But please note on that stripe.com, there's a lot of other cards that you can test with. Depending on your country, you might want to test American Express or Unions Pay. Any of them, you can do that by just grabbing that card number, pasting it in here, using an expiry in the future and a three number CVC. So I'll go ahead and I'll do my test payment. I've now been directed to the checkout results page where it looks like just a normal transaction, although I know I've put in my test credit card details, so it's only a test, but this is what your real life customers would see as well. So it gives you a good idea of what your customers will see and that way you can go back and edit in any information that you need to. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on Stripe test cards. You can see that there's a range of cards that you can test with and I've run through a demonstration on how to use them. Remember the expiry always needs to be a date in the future. The CVC a three numbered combination, one, two, three usually works great. And the card number you can choose from the stripe.com page, depending on which type of credit card you'd like to try.